Hi guys, this is Warren again. Uh, I had to take a little short break and now I'm back. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and lay out a rafter using the, 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 the framing square. So we know that we, the arm scribes plumb conditions and I have one, two, three, four, five, six units of rise for every one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve units of run. The unit of run for common rafters is always 12 inches. Now, uh, the, the unit rise can change. So the unit rise can be five. If, if, if this is five, then that would be 13. If that was eight, that would be 14.42. So that number right there is a unit of rafter length. For every six inches that I come up here above the wall and go, and that did it, for every 12 inches that I go toward the center line, I'm having, I'm also laying out uh, 13.42 units of or inches of, of rafter length. So I need, how many of these do I need? I need four of them. Four units of rafter length per four units of 12 inches of run and four units of six inches of rise. I hope that's not too confusing uh, because roof rimming is confusing. So we're stair, stair building. So we do the best we can. So, so we'll go ahead and get started with laying this uh, rafter out using this the rafter square. So I'm going to put six inches here right along this top edge and 12 right there. Okay? And I'm going to scribe. That's the center line of the building. Okay? And I'm going to see where 12 is. This is 12 inches of run. I need to do this four times. So I slide my I slide my square down and I hold the same dimension. Here's a Look at this. We have one, two, now I need two more. Here's one. I, I don't really have to lay this out like this, but, I would, but it's a good visual. Slide it down one more time. And there's six. And there is twelve. And here we go. And right there is the... Right there is the end of the rafter and 12 6 and 12 okay so this right here I'm gonna measure back up an inch and a half and then hold 612 and come right through that mark and there is my bird mount so this comes off that's cut out. That's where the wall, this is where the rafter sits on the wall. Now, I have eight inches. I have eight inches of overhang. I have eight inches of overhang. And so now I need to hold 612 and mark eight inches right there. Now, I'm going to have to use my speed square for this because I don't have enough room at the end of the rafter tail. So, I just scribe a 612. These are the common cuts right here, and I put that on six right there and come right through that mark for the overhang. This is overhang. And this is where my where my subfacial board would be. Right there at the at the end of that overhang, in the end of that rafter. Now we just go back up to the top. Told you a while ago that that line right there was the center line of the building, and that's right here. So there's something in there, though. So there's that's an inch and a half two by six in there, or two by eight possibly, and so I've got to remove half the thickness of that. That's an inch and a half thick. So I've got to take off. I've got to take off three quarters of an inch, and that's right here, and it's got to be in a in a Square condition. 90 degrees off there. Now hold 612 again. Again, I can use my I can use my speed square for this. Six and twelve. Right there. So this is what I cut. I cut that. So that comes off, that comes off. And now we have bird mouth is here. And that rafter is ready to 
cut and install. So uh, let's go back over this some, somewhat. Remember I told you a while ago that 13.42 that, uh, was the rafter length in a 612 roof slope. Well, I have four units of that. So four units of rafter length at 13.42. 13.42 times four is 53.68 inches, okay? If I divide, if I want that expressed in feet, I divide that by 12. And now I get 4.47 feet. Now the overhang is eight inches. And so the engineer scale for that is 0.67 feet. So I added that, now I have 5.14 feet. Ah, kind of confusing in it sometimes. So now I have my total rafter length. Total rafter length goes from the center of the building to include the overhang. The theoretical rafter length goes from the center of the building to the outside wall. So if we get through all this math and eventually we get down to laying out the rafter. Um, okay, I think that's all I'm gonna send you on roof framing. So uh, you'll get the exam. The exam is gonna include roof framing and stair building. So I want you guys to be ready. You'll get the exam. I'm fixing to start working on the on the um, uh, uh, stair building portion of this, and we'll go from there. All right. Have a good weekend, and hope that you don't get a whole lot of stormy weather tonight. Uh, happy Easter, and we'll see you uh, down the road. All right. This is Farman Warren. Actually, it's a uh, professor who you all checking out.